This video is here to help you when drawing 2D shapes accurately. We're going to use some squared paper to help us to draw our shapes. Each square on this squared paper is equal to one centimeter squared. We are going to draw a square with a perimeter of 20 centimeters. Remember that the perimeter of the shape is the distance around the outside edge of the shape. A square has four equal sides, so to calculate what each side length will measure, we can divide the total perimeter, 20 centimeters, by four. This means that each side length will be equal to five centimeters. Each square on the grid is equal to one centimeter, so that means each side length will equal to five squares. The square has a total perimeter of 20 centimeters and four equal side lengths of five centimeters. Now let's move on. This time we're going to draw a rectangle with a perimeter of 20 centimeters. What could the measurements be? What could it look like? Is there more than one way of drawing it? Pause here and have a think. How many different rectangles did you draw? Let's have a look. We know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, so we can use the formula 2w add 2l equals 20 centimeters. W is our width and L is our length. If our width, W, is 1, then we would have 2 add 2l, which equals 20 centimeters. If we subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, we will have 2l equals 18 centimeters. So our length, L, would be nine centimeters. So you may have drawn a rectangle with a length of nine centimeters and one centimeters. But what if our width was two centimeters? What would the length be? If we use the same method, then we can see that the length would be eight centimeters. Can you spot a pattern at all? Yes, that's right. When the width decreases by one centimeter, the length also decreases by one centimeter. Let's see if this continues. If the widths became three centimeters, then the lengths of the rectangle would become seven centimeters. If the widths became four centimeters, then the lengths of the rectangle would be equal to six centimeters. If the widths became five centimeters, then the lengths of the rectangle would also be equal to five centimeters, which is the square we drew earlier on. Now it's your turn. Using the squared paper to help you, can you calculate what each side will be in these shapes? A square with a perimeter of 16 centimeters and a rectangle with an area of 20 centimeters squared. Remember that the area is the total squares covered by the shape. Pause the video here whilst you work out your answers. All finished, well done. Here are your answers. To draw a square with a perimeter of 16 centimeters, we can divide the perimeter, 16 centimeters, by four, as each side length will be equal. 16 divided by four is equal to four, so each length will be four centimeters. To draw a rectangle with an area of 20 centimeters squared, we need to remember that area is equal to length multiplied by width. So in this example, L multiplied by W must be equal to 20 centimeters squared. If L is 20 centimeters, then W must be one centimeter. If L is 10 centimeters, then W must be two centimeters. And if L is five centimeters, then W must be four centimeters. Now let's move on. Let's try to draw some shapes on plain paper. Here is a partially drawn shape. We are going to try and work out what shape it will be when it is complete. Let's take a closer look at what we already know. The shape has two equal sides of eight centimeters, not directly opposite each other. The shape has two opposite equal angles of 50 degrees. Can you work out the partly drawn shape? That's correct, it's a rhombus. We know this because a rhombus has two pairs of opposite equal angles and four equal sides. Now it's over to you. There are two lines missing from each of these partly drawn shapes. Can you work out which of these shapes will become a parallelogram when the two missing lines are added? All finished, well done. The first shape is the parallelogram. We know this because there are two pairs of opposite angles that are equal and two pairs of equal parallel lines. The second shape is a rectangle because all the lines meet at 90 degrees. This was a bit of a trick question as the rectangle is a special type of parallelogram.
Now let's have a look at how we can draw a triangle accurately on plain paper. The triangle needs to have a baseline of 6 centimetres and two angles of 95 degrees and 25 degrees. First, let's draw the baseline of 6 centimetres. To draw the two angles of 95 degrees and 25 degrees accurately, we need to use a protractor. Place the origin or centre point of the protractor carefully at one end of the line. We will draw the angle of 95 degrees first. We need to use our outer scale of the protractor, which begins at zero on our line. Place a dot here at 95 degrees. Now let's remove the protractor. We can now draw a line from the baseline to the dot where we marked the angle of 95 degrees. For the next step, we need to draw an angle of 25 degrees. Let's use our protractor again. This time, we need to use the inner scale, which begins at zero on our baseline. We can add a dot at 25 degrees to show the angle. Next, we can join the green dot up to the baseline, as we haven't been given any of the other line lengths. This line can intersect the other to form the third side of the triangle. Finally, we need to remove the extra part of the line that we do not need. Here is our finished drawing of a triangle with a baseline of 6 centimetres and two angles of 95 degrees and 25 degrees. Now let's see if we can apply what we've learned today about drawing shapes accurately to our final challenge question. Zeke and Gia are drawing 2D shapes. They have been asked to draw this shape. It has one pair of parallel lines which are 8 centimetres long, one pair of parallel lines which are 4 centimetres long, two right angles, one obtuse angle which is 105 degrees and one obtuse angle which is 95 degrees. Gia says, I think this shape will be impossible to draw and Zeke says, I think this shape will be a rectangle. Who is correct? Can you explain why? Pause the video whilst you work out your answer. Have you finished? Well done, here is your answer. Gia is correct. The shape will be impossible to draw. The shape being described as a quadrilateral. The total of the internal angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. When we add the angles listed here, they total 380 degrees. 90 degrees add 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. 105 add 95 degrees is equal to 200 degrees. 200 degrees added to 180 degrees is equal to 380 degrees. This means the shape will be impossible to draw. I hope that this video has helped you to draw shapes more accurately. If you're looking for any more maths videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time.